All righty. Tops Finest 2023. Um, picked up two boxes at a local store today. Going to take a look at them. Looks like each box has two chrome autographs per box. There's two mini boxes inside each one of these. Um, probably going to try and figure out some sort of a some sort of a thank you giveaway. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you know, I might say something in the middle of this video just to make it a little challenging. <laughs> um, I came to find out that it's not that easy to see who commented or who gave an answer first. Um, I mean, I think I've been able to keep up with it, but I'm not 100% sure. I thought YouTube had a timestamp for comments, and they only kind of do. They have a thing about newest comments at the top, which I would assume would therefore put the oldest comments on the bottom. Um, it's just, it's not quite as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do too much of the whoever does a code first, or... I just don't know. I haven't decided. If it turns into too much of a headache, you know, I'm not trying to create headaches. I'm just trying to, just trying to do a thing. Just a guy doing a thing. I've seen a couple of different videos of these things being opened. At first, I didn't like the design of them, like these kind of like, I guess, fake backgrounds. Uh, but the more I've seen them opened, the more I've kind of, uh, kind of enjoyed it, I think. I'm going to open up uh, a couple of packs at a time here so this video doesn't go on for too, too long. Uh, two autographs per box. We're going to have four autographs. Looks like there's a lot of numbered cards and shiny cards and, and, and. So, you know, I do like shiny cards. That's what we get here. Uh, the autographs mostly are rookies, but there are some veterans also, some Hall of Famers, some close to Hall of Famers. Uh, again, shiny. I guess nice looking. I mean, a lot of rookies. A lot of uh, interesting cards. I guess you'd say. Not a big base set from what I understand. Maybe 100 cards or so. Here's the first number to 99. Josh Jung. So, rookie card to 99. I'll put that up here for now. I don't know if it'll be good enough to stay. Bregman the Cheater. Bo Nailer. Again, a lot of... Oh, here's my guy. My guy goes upside down. It's not my favorite guy in the world. So, I mean, a lot of rookies there. A lot of rookies I even recognize. I'm not the biggest uh, rookie guy in the world, so... But even I recognize some of those names. The base rookies, I guess, can't really be worth that much, right? But if you get a parallel rookie or an autograph rookie or something, you know, it's definitely something. Something to consider. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm not a big Jose Altuve fan. I think he was a cheater. I think he cost Aaron Judge an MVP season award. There's a big shiny something or other back there. JT Realmuto. Uh, oh, there's an autograph. And this is just a big old shiny card. Oh, no, it is. I'm sorry, it is numbered. Man, my eyes. Holy cow. Out of uh, 175. So, definitely a nice shiny card. First autograph. I love the fact that they're on card. Numbered. Rookie. Buddy Kennedy. Can't say I know you, but, you know, I know you a little bit now. Looks like Arizona. Decent uh, autograph. I mean, at least there's a B and a K. I guess a Y. BKY? Doesn't that mean something? BKY. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think. What did BKY mean? Hopefully nothing too bad. Juan DeFranco. Gunnar Henderson. I'm kind of hip to some of the Oriole prospects because they're in a race with the Yankees. Headliners. Cabrera. You know, the card I like because he's the Yankee rookie. Steroid guy. Couple of rookies, Brett Batty, Beatty. I say Batty for some reason. I just can't stop. But um, you know, another good rookie. Base. So I'm assuming not exactly worth a ton for these rookies, but something. So that's one box with one autograph, right? 
and we get another box. Hope everyone's doing well, you know, kind of the dog days of summertime <laughs> a little bit. Baseball uh, All-Star Games coming up. I look at the All-Star Game from afar. I was never like a big, big watcher of it. Like sit down and watch a whole All-Star Game. I've watched the first inning or two a couple of times, especially when I was a little bit younger, maybe. But, you know, always, always curious if anything fantastical happens, good, bad, or in between. You know, I remember Bo Jackson at the All-Star Game. I remember John Crook and uh, Randy Johnson at the All-Star Game. I remember a couple of home run derbies, you know, highlights a couple of times. Josh Hamilton before he disappeared again at Yankee Stadium was probably one of the ones that stick out to me the most. These boxes, I think these boxes cost me $225. So kind of a mid-level as far as uh, price points. I don't know if it's exactly something that you're going to get your money back on necessarily. Carlos Perez, another rookie. Hoping for one veteran autograph. I mean, I know people usually like the rookie autographs. I think I like more of the veteran ones, believe it or not. And if the rookie turns into something, okay, that's great, obviously. But otherwise, here's Paul Goldschmidt numbered. I'm going to start a little numbered section over here, I guess. Lots of rookies. Lots of rookies. Some rookies I know, some I don't know. Refractors have always confused me. Are they just like shiny rainbow cards, I guess? I've never really totally understood that. Like, I don't know, was that a refractor? J-Rod. It's funny, Franco, J-Rod, they're already in the uh, veteran status, right? Nick Prado. 150. I'll put another numbered card there. Shohei, O'Neill Cruz, that's a funny picture of him. Good picture. Peraza again. So, you know, for the first box, uh, you know, a couple of good cards, a couple of autographs that I would say were, you know, okay. A numbered autograph, I guess, is good. Out of 99 for Buddy Kennedy. Just got a whole Buddy turns into something. Go, Buddy. I'm now officially a fan of Buddy. Two more boxes. See if we can get like one like card that really makes me say, wow. You know, that's that's my card. That's what I traditionally do with these type of things. If, if I pick one card that I'm gonna keep no matter what and then put something everything else into a contest of some sort. Um, so far I don't know if we have the card or if I've seen the card that I would necessarily try and keep. Now, some of you might be saying one of these rookie cards or something. Oh, my, you know, you'd have to keep that. And, yeah, you definitely, you might be right. I'm just, I don't know all these cards quite as well as, you know, quite as well as you. I don't know if it's the type of thing we're going to learn either, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's kind of one of those things where uh, as soon as you learn one class, okay, but then next year it just starts all over again, right? And that seems like a lot. I just saw uh, peeking over an Anthony Volpe rookie, but it looked like just a, a base thing. Let's try and get a Volpe rookie out of uh, some sort of those weird boxes that I get. The unlicensed something or others. Guess I'm going to try and open up one or two of those again coming up pretty soon. So here's box, mini box number three. Out of 250. He is somebody. I mean, I guess they're all somebody. I just dropped somebody. I don't think I damaged it too badly. Uh, Bobby Wood Jr. Duran. This guy was in the Yankee system. I remember I was following him a little bit in the Yankee system, and then they gave up on him and went someplace else. And he's a, I would say he's a hitter. He's doing okay. I don't know if he's going to be an all star, but his cards are kind of sticking. Bo Bichette and Fujinami. Beatty, 
another cruise. So starting into the duplicates, because again, it's a small set from what I understand. Um, finest with the color on the top. Does that mean anything? Cards numbered like 100 to whatever are short prints, apparently. It's a 99. It's nice looking. All the colors and everything like that. I like that card. Francisco Alvarez. He's on my fantasy team doing really well. Anthony Volpe on my fantasy team doing really well. Matter of fact, they're doing so good. I'm going to put him up there with Gunnar Henderson. Yoshida. Rookies. Max Mayer. Four of five rookie. That's pretty cool. Terrible signature, though. I mean, I know it's 2M, so Max Mayer, but... Ow. Four of five, Marlins. Maybe that's the one that I would be saying I'm going to keep as of right now, only because it's a four of five, more so than anything else. Carol, rookie. Jacob DeGrom, he's almost dead. And to green. So, you know, a four of five is something. What number is he? Does it say, is he number four by chance? I always have an affinity for collecting those type of things. Uh, it doesn't say. And I can't see. So this is a numbered card. I'm going to put this in a little stack of numbers. There's some autographs. One more box. But again, a four or five. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Even though I can't say I know Max Meyer too well. Again, I am kind of a fan of his right now. Go Meyer. Pitches are hard. Pitches, you know, seems like they come and go so quickly. Hitters definitely seem to be where it's at. But, you know, again, a four or five is a four or five. Otherwise, world news. The world's fine. Everyone calm down. Everyone always talks about how the world is coming to an end, and this group is doing this, and that group is doing that. Honestly, I would tell everybody to calm down. Just calm down. Right, Jose? What's the big deal? It's not like uh, you're being folded in half and then quartered, and, you know, you're, you're in better shape than that. So life is good. Don't worry about a thing. Alonzo, home run derby. I think he's going to win it again. I can see him winning it for the third time. World's finest, Shohei Otani. Just not a fan of his. Naylor. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's that's That must mean something. Carlos Correa, another one. 250. So I'm going to put him over here. At least he's no longer on the Astros. Another Astro. Getting a lot of Astros here. This box isn't treating me so good. Conforto. He looks funny in the uh, Giants uniform. huh? Interesting. Ken Griffey. Aaron Judge. I'll put Aaron Judge up here just because it's Aaron Judge. This one's a steer. Another one of those 175. Kind of shiny. Who are you? I'm not even going to try and say this name. Um, was he a pirate? Yeah, really, I can't say I know him too well. I'm going to put him up here. I'm going to kind of share him with Carlos Perez. Because I know both of them pretty much as well as each other. Any other? Jordan Walker. I mean, that's you know, another good rookie at least. And an underrated player that everyone loves on my fantasy team that does very well. All right. So, you know, very decent, I would say. Um, if you want a shot at a card, just be the first one to comment what I did to the Altuve card during the video. And also let me know how many Altuve cards there were. And I'm going to say this is going to be the card that I'm going to keep for my collection. And if you could tell me what I did to the Jose Altuve card and how many Altuve cards I pulled, be 
be the first one to post that, and I'll let you pick out any one card, one other card from the lot here. Uh, so we got a couple of autographs to pick and choose from. We have out of 99, and then a couple of base, a couple of you know handful of numbered cards, um, and also too they're all short prints. Supposedly short prints are a thing. I don't know if we really need to look at the short prints necessarily. None of the short prints are exactly all-stars from what I remember. Or like, you know, big, big rookies. None of these guys are going to be numbered 100. Or, well, no, actually, well, Gunnar Henderson is 100. So I wonder, I wonder. Maybe it's 101 and higher, I think. Because everyone said, oh, this is a refractor. So now, what makes that a refractor? Am I just crazy? Just because of the joke, if I looked in the back of it, number 60, refractor. What in the world? Like, okay, when you flash the light on, there's a little rainbow thing going on. So that makes it worth something more for some reason. So I'll put him with the numbered things, just because. But, I mean, really, like, what's the, what's the difference? So now, just for the joke of it, real quick, I'm just going to blow through these and just see. You know, if you're in a rush, that was pretty much it for the video. Go see if you can win a card. Uh, here's another refractor. And it's a refractor because I would never, I mean, I would never know that those are refractors. I There's just no way I would know that unless they said it on the card. Which I guess, hey, I, I appreciate them saying it on the card. Um, you know. Much appreciated. Look for anything in the hundreds or refractor. Look, another refractor. So it's an O'Neill Cruz. I had two of him. One of them was a refractor, apparently. Are refractors worth considerably more? Like, are they short printed or. I don't know. I can't say. See, this is where it's kind of my weak point of these cards. I, I just don't know. Another refractor. So they're not that rare because I'm getting a handful of them. It almost seems like there's maybe one per pack. One per box, I should say. Like, one per mini box. I didn't get any of the short prints, though. The Out of the, you know, 100s. Another refractor. Who do we get here? Rookie card refractor. Really funny. I'm telling you, I, I, would, I would just, I would never know. Another, hey, a Beatty refractor. Mm, that's okay. I like that. And anything else? 91. So maybe I'm wrong about those refractor, uh, about the uh, short prints, because I, I didn't get one. I think I somebody had said it was like one out of 40 packs, and we opened six packs per box, so my math says that was 24. So I had a, you know, 50% chance-ish. I'll pull one, and we did not. So that's what that is. So anyway, now, I, again, I'm not sure if these refractors are worth that much more because they, they have that shine to it. That's fine. A couple of refractors, and then a bunch of numbered cards. So oh, these are some autographs, and I put the numbers up here. A lot of stuff. I might try and put some dollar signs if I could find anything on eBay for comps just to give you an idea if these things are actually selling for anything. It might be too soon, though, for that. Um, I'll see what I can figure out. Sometimes I find that interesting anyway. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Anyone who went this far, you know, as per usual, thank you so much. I, I appreciate all the comments. I'm hoping I can figure out these giveaways as far as who comments first and, and making sure we win. If anyone sees me making an error, please let me know. I'm happy to fix or change or switch. Uh, if anyone sees me doing anything stupid, please let me know. I, I'm not too, uh... I don't have a problem <laughs> changing, fixing, listening, whatever it is. Uh, if anyone has any ideas, feel free to shoot me an idea. I'm always willing to change things up and uh, keep things fresh and interesting and fun. Again, I, I appreciate all this. I would normally have just opened up a box. Uh, okay, very nice. And then put it away. Oh, maybe the family's home. My killer eight-pound dog is on the hunt. I'm listening if they're coming home. Well, we'll see. Anyway, pretty much done anyway. So I'll help the family in the house in case that is them. Uh, thanks for watching. Go Yankees.